Hi, I'm Dan and welcome to this week's Elements Developer Diary. Now, I was just about to record this week's video and I got a message from Tom on the um, Real Mac Slack channel. And he said, afternoon, I've been working on a new photography project, want to check it out. And I thought, why don't we take a look at that? Seems a perfect time. So uh, I'm going to reply to Tom here and say, sure, I'd, I'd love to take a look. Um, and hopefully he'll send over the project somehow. Um, ah, here we go. Yes, uh, he sent me a link and it's an Elements app link. Um, so let's just click this and see what happens. So um, Elements is now downloading that document directly into, um, into Elements and it's going to open it for us. So great, so he's just sent me a link and magically it has downloaded elements and it opened up the project file. So now I can take a look at this project um, and it's a pretty nice project he's been working on here. And that effect is very nice as well. Um, so what happened there? You know, why, why did that magically open? Where's that project stored? Where's it coming from? Um, and as you might have guessed already, because probably the title of this video is called um, Elements Cloud. So yes, yeah, so this is part of the cloud service we're building for Elements. Now, this is just the beginning and this is um, one of the first features we're releasing. And we have a lot of big plans for this. Um, and this will allow us to do a lot of amazing things in the future. But we have to start somewhere. And the first step is having Element Cloud accounts that allow you to store and share documents. And we think this is going to be really useful because we've been using it internally and we've found it incredibly useful when sharing documents. And you can already see how easy that was for Tom to send me that link. Um, so I'm going to walk you through the process and show you how Elements Cloud works. Um, and best of all, the Elements Cloud um, is free to sign up for and you get free storage as well. So um, there's now a cloud up in the toolbar here. And if I click on this, it says sign into Elements Cloud to upload documents. OK, so I click sign in and it takes me to the preference pane in Elements and straight to the account area. And on here, it's already pre-filled in my email address because it has that from the registration. Um, but you can use another email address if you prefer. So what I'm going to do, um, and this will be the same if you don't have an account or if you do have an account, you just put in your email address um, and we say send the sign in link. So when I hit this, we'll check if there an account exists or if it doesn't and the process will still be the same. So, um, so when you use this, you'll just put in your email address, hit send sign in link and it's going to do its thing. We wait for a second. And um, it says a sign in link has been sent to Dan at Real Max Software and the link expires in three minutes. So this is a security reason, really, and to keep things fresh. So if I go over to my mail application, I can see I've been sent this link here. No reply at elementsapp.cloud. And there's a little sign in button to click. So now when I hit this and um, we'll go back to elements and it will just log me in. And now it's logged me into my elements cloud account. And you can see there it's got my account and put my email address and I can sign out if I want. And I can also see all the documents that I have uploaded. Um, I can trash them, download them, copy the link or open them back up in Elements. So let's close the preference window and um, let's just make some changes to this document here. Uh, maybe I think it would look better with a picture of Jimmy Flash at the top. Um, that's looking pretty good. We don't need the overlay. And um, let's change the, uh, the brand color. So you can see the colors changing there. I think it'll look better as yellow. Perfect. Um, let me go ahead and save this. Uh, I'm going to call this um, version 5. And I'll just save this to my desktop. So now I've made some changes to this document. And if I wanted to send it back to Tom, send it anywhere else, or perhaps I just want to make a backup of this file, I can hit the cloud button here. And um, this popover is showing me my last three documents that I uploaded. Uh, and if I want to see all the documents, I can just hit manage and that'll open up the preferences for me. So if I click upload project, it's going to upload the document. 
uh, boom, we'll just wait for that to happen. Boom, it's done it. Plays a little sound to let us know it's done. And just like that, I've, um, I've uploaded the document. So, um, you know, I could come in here and I can make some changes and, um, you know, maybe I've then, uh, we'll delete that. And I've saved this project and I've saved this to the desktop here. Um, oh, let's, let's quit mail there. And I've saved this to the desktop here and, um, I'm thinking perhaps I was a little bit hasty in making these changes and saving this because it's not looking so good now and I've lost my header text and I actually quite liked that. So what we can do, um, we can open the cloud here, the little cloud icon, and I can download the copy we stored on the server. And if I just press this button here, it's going to download the document. We'll get rid of this one because we don't need this. There it is. And we're downloading that version that I do like. Um, let's just we'll wait for this here. There we are, boom. And I'm back to where I was. So, um, and now I can continue working and making the changes here. So this is a really, really useful feature. And you can easily manage it from here. I click this and you can manage all your files in there. Um, I can copy a link here to um, share on the forum and I could do that. Uh, I could do that the same here. So I could copy this and um, let me just, I'll just paste this in here. So this link here, uh, I could share this anywhere and I can share this with the other element users. So if I post this link on the forum and there will be a link to some projects um, with this video, the, if you have the beta of Elements, you can just click those links and they will download straight into Elements for you and you can check out the documents. So this makes it an incredibly easy way to share documents and also to back up projects. So um, while I'm working on this, you know, I haven't uploaded it anywhere and as I'm iterating through it, I can just keep those backup copies. So I always know whatever changes I make, I can always just download an old copy and it's always there for me. So, um, so yeah, so this is the new feature we're launching today um, and it's part of Elements Cloud and you can sign up for a free account and you get free storage as well. Um, and that's all included for every Elements user. All right, I'm sure there's gonna be lots of questions and uh, about this feature, but I hope you really like it and I hope you can see that this is the start of something very big um, and uh, yeah, it's what we're doing here is very exciting and I hope you guys really love it. All right, uh, that's it for today. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you next week with some more great Elements features. All right, thanks for watching. Cheers, bye.